Active Campaign Lead Pages. In this video, we're going to cover how to integrate Active Campaign with lead pages. Now, we're going to add a person to an automation that delivers the expected email that was promised on lead pages. After that, we're going to tag a person so they can start receiving broadcast emails. So let's dive right in. So inside your lead pages account, you want to click on integrations. We already have one active campaign account and what's nice is we can add multiple. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new account. I need to provide my API URL and key, which I can find inside my active campaign account by going back to here in my active campaign down to the settings icon. And we want to go to developer and these two pieces of information we need. So I'm going to copy the URL to start with back to lead pages and then the key and then provide an appropriate name and then click on connect all right so we've got that available now I want to go ahead and create a landing page so click on landing pages click on create new landing page and for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm simply going to create a very basic one. So I'm going to use what's called the super basic squeeze page. Now I might just go through this very quickly and not explain how it works, but when we get to the important parts, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Now, here's where we want to integrate with Active Campaign. So, I'm going to use the Active Campaign integration I just set up. Now, here's the thing I can only integrate using a form in Active Campaign. I can't add a tag, I can't put them into an automation, I can't do any of that stuff. So, I've got one, actually, I can put them on a list, but in this case, I want to put them into a form. And I've already created one and it basically asks for email address. And it might actually ask for first name. So I'm gonna connect that. And again, I really don't wanna go directly to a list. I wanna go put them on a form. And I'm gonna get rid of the lead notification. That's not appropriate. I'm not going to enable this. I'm gonna to go to the field section and I'm only gonna collect email. I I think I could probably collect, I think it's got full name, so I could put that in there if I want. In this case, I'm not going to, just want to make it super easy. And normally I would point them to either a landing page, external URL, but for purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to use the default thank you page that lead pages provides, click on save and close. And then I'm going to publish this. I'll go ahead and copy that link. There it is. Before I run it, I want to now go into Active Campaign. Now, I, what I should show you is a form I've already created. So that should be under, let's start with Site, Forms, and I've called this Example. And note the name that I'm using is the same I'm using for my lead page. Now, I am collecting full name here, but I decided not to with lead pages. So I've got the email field, and one thing I think is important, I don't necessarily need to do this, is I clicked on the options up here, the gear icon here, and I disabled the opt-in confirmation. So they are going to get added to, the, to this form without having to confirm. Now, a couple of other things going on. They're being added to a list, and then they're having this tag applied. And the reason they use that is because if I go to automations, and you'll want to create this automation that I'm going to show you. I've got it called prospect-example. So notice when this tag is applied, it starts this automation. So we saw that the form adds a tag, lead pages uses that form. So therefore they get put into this automation because this tag is applied and it only runs once. We deliver the appropriate email and then what I want to do is I want to apply a tag that indicates that they're available to receive broadcasts. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here, contacts, add a tag. 
And I haven't created one called broadcast, but let's just do that. Broadcast, and I'm gonna call it example because that's associated with the lead pages, the domain, the tag, the uh, form, or the automation. So now I've got that available once they've received that. I might put in a, like a one day delay before that happens as a way to kind of space out if, if for instance, they receive this at eight o'clock in the morning and my broadcast go out at 8.05, that's two emails back to back. So I'm just gonna give them a little buffer. Plus, I could send more emails inside this automation, but when I'm done with this first automation, I wanna indicate that they're available to be emailed to. So when I send out a campaign, I can say only send to people that have this broadcast example, eat tag. So let's make sure this works. So I was just recently added. I have this tag um, and then I've got this list right here. I've been added to that. I am currently in this automation. And as we know, one day from now, I will exit that and have the broadcast example tag applied. So I'm now ready to receive broadcast emails. So that's how you integrate ActiveCampaign with lead pages.